What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. We got some geese coming in here. In this video, we're gonna do some goose hunting as well as talk about all of the potential rares coming to Finland with all of the new species. Every new species, I'm gonna make some predictions about what uh, new rare fur types we could be seeing, plumage types for all the waterfowl and the birds. Uh, possibilities, hang on a sec here. We gotta call these guys in. But yeah, I just wanna talk a little bit about what I'm hoping to see as far as some of the rare variations that are coming with some of these new species. I hope you guys enjoy this video. We're gonna do some goose hunting as well. Maybe we'll find a diamond or a rare or something. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like on it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And uh, let's just jump into the video. They do not wanna come in uh, for some reason. They're breaking, but they're breaking really kind of far away. That's kind of strange. They are coming in though. Hang on, I haven't even looked to see what's in here. I should probably do that. I usually do that when they're up in the sky, but I was doing the intro. Okay, we're good. Just little guys. All right, here we go. Oh, shoot that one for sure. Probably a brown hybrid, but could be anything. Could be a gray. You're not going anywhere. Hang on, let's get that 22. Come on. Oh boy. Oh, he's a little rusty. Oh, he's a little bit rusty. Zero that for 150. Oh, but he's on point two at the same time. Oh my gosh. He's got it. He's gonna be just fine, I think. Oh, we got more coming in, but they're spooked. Okay, I am going to talk about the rare fur variations. The rare fur and plumage variations eventually here, if the geese ever stop coming in. But yeah, I wanted to make a video talking about... Um, we're not going to get any of these unless I can shoot them out of the air. Talking about all the rares that might be coming. Noth nothing has been disclosed, as far as I know, regarding what rares we might see for all the new ducks, the new grouse, uh, the raccoon dogs. The ptarmigan, lots of really cool possibilities too. Did we lose anything good in there? Oh, there's a five in there, what? <gasps> oh crap. Oh, I gotta hit it. I hit it, I hit it, it's going down. No way. <laughs> Dude, right in the beginning of the video. We've, and we've got a friggin' five. Holy, okay, so. I mean, let's go pick it up, I guess. Or we'll just mark where it was on the map, and we'll go get it at the end. He's right over there somewhere. That's hilarious. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that to happen in this video. At least, not right at the beginning, anyway. Um, but yeah, so rare variations. So what am I hoping to see? Um, I've done a little bit of research. Uh, there's, you can't find much as far as, like, uh, possible rare plumage types for, like, all the ducks and stuff. Except for the fact that uh, I think leucistic is possible for all of them. Leucistic, I think, is possible for most of the new spe species that are coming. Raccoon dogs can be leucistic, I believe. They can be albino, they can be white, or they can be leucistic. Now, I don't know if white and leucistic are the same thing. They might be, but uh, all of those do exist. I'm hoping with the raccoon dogs that we, we get a melanistic variation as well. We'd love to see melanistic raccoon dogs. And then maybe some piebalds too. I don't know if they can be piebald. I know that the raccoons have the piebald variations. Um, so that could be a thing too. Um, mountain hares are really, really interesting. So the mountain hare, the thing with the mountain hare is they actually molt. Mountain hares actually molt between the colder and the warmer months. They have darker fur in the warmer months and then they shed that fur into what kind of looks like just an all white mountain hare. So they shed that darker fur uh, when winter is coming in and they get the uh, the lighter fur, which is basically like all white. So there's a, there's this kind of a phase in between and that's what molting is. We see molting with the, uh, the pheasants and the, uh, the ptarmigan are gonna have a molting variation. So that's what molting is, it's kind of the in between between stage when they're molting, when they're shedding that old fur and when they have that new fur coming in. So, so hopefully the mountain hare will have a molting variation. They look really cool when they're molting. I saw some pictures online of uh, molting mountain hare, so that would be cool. Maybe albino, maybe leucistic, maybe melanistic mountain hares would be cool. Definitely hoping to see some rare variations for them. What do we got up here? We already got the level five. Maybe we can get a rare as well. Maybe we can get really lucky here and get a five and a rare. That would be crazy. Here we go. What are you? <laughs> right in my face. Took that guy down. All right, 
let's get that 22. Come on, hit it. Come on. It's just a little bit. A little too close to be zeroed for 150. Oh, we got more geese out there. Um, I want to talk more about the ducks. So the duck species, we've got uh, four new duck species coming. We've got Eurasian teal, we've got Eurasian widgeon, we've got the tufted ducks, and we've got the golden eye ducks. Some really, really cool species of ducks. I'm hoping with the Eurasian teal that they do kind of what they did with the cinnamon teal, right? Like the red, uh, beige. They did a whole bunch of different ones for the, the cinnamon teal. They also have melanistics, which I've never seen one in game, but there are melanistic uh, cinnamon teals that are quite interesting. They look quite a bit like a common. I don't know if those are real things uh, in real life I think in real life most animals do have the possibility to have leucism um, and be leucistic same with melanistic but leucistic ducks I think are a thing with pretty much every species of duck I think all of these ducks could have a leucistic variation and I hope they do leucistic variations are always really interesting we only have one currently for the mallards so I'm hoping we do get some more leucistic variations Eurasian widgeon tufted ducks golden eye ducks uh, those can all be leucistic I'm not sure about the teals but I'm imagining they can I'm hoping with the teals they do like an all green version like they did the red with the cinnamon teals um, would love to see like a really bright green Eurasian teal some of those greens and blues that we saw on the common one maybe kind of emphasized into a really cool variation of Eurasian teal and then of course the albinos uh, the melanistics things like that as well would be cool to see for these ducks but let's just see if we've got any rares as well wouldn't that be nice so that's my mark there that uh, that level five should be down pretty much on my mark there's a brown hybrid a four that's a gold 7.6 not bad. Uh, the next species I wanted to talk about are the geese. So again, same thing, gray lag geese, bean geese. Hopefully we see some cool leucistic versions like we have with the Canada geese. What's this? Gray brown, it looks really dark in the shadow there. Yeah, like the ball leucistic and the, the light gray leucistic. I'm hoping they do that with the bean geese and with the gray lag geese as well. Some cool possibilities for some cool uh, leucistic geese. And then hopefully uh, mellas. Um, I would love to see albino geese. We don't currently have albino geese in the game, so I'm hoping that maybe one of those species, or if not both, could have an albino variation. That would be cool. Definitely want to see mellas. Um, and then things like brown hybrids, they might do like a brown hybrid type of thing. Um, gray, I don't know if the gray lag or the bean have like a gray variation, um, but that would be cool too. I'm hoping they get really creative with some of these uh, possible variations in the, for the plumage types with these new birds. Um, and then same thing with the grouse, like um, Capricaylee, I'm not really sure what, well, hang on, this guy should be, okay, he's right there. My mark was pretty close. Uh, Capricaylee, couldn't find anything online really about Capricaylee as far as like what variations are out there, what has been found, what exists. Hang on, I still don't see this guy, that's just a track. Uh, but yeah, Capricaylee. Uh, Melanistic would be cool. It might be kind of hard to... Well, actually, it wouldn't be too bad because they do have quite a bit of green on them. They've got the white kind of in the back on their tails. That's probably him up there. Of course, he's going to be on top of a mountain. So we'll figure out a way up on top of this hill and try to get this guy. But that's definitely going to be our five. Hopefully, it's a diamond. Maybe even a rare diamond. How awesome would that be? But for the Capricaylee, uh, the main one that I'm hoping for with the Capricaylee is uh, Albino. Albino Capricaylee would be amazing. Leucistic could potentially look really cool too. As far as grouse go, I found a lot of pictures of leucistic sage grouse. Uh, they're a really beautiful species of grouse as well. But as far as the hazel and the black, couldn't really find much uh, concerning rare plumage variations. But I'm hoping that we do see um, albino for hopefully all of them. You know, leucistics, lots of different uh, possibilities. This does look like a common. This is our five. Is it a diamond? It is. A nine scoring diamond gray brown. That's cool. I haven't gotten a diamond goose in a while. I've killed tons of them since the last diamond. So that's cool. And that's cool timing. Really happy to be able to put a diamond in this video. <laughs> I was really wanting to do that. And uh, that's a big one. It's a big one too. Love to see it. We got a nine. Nine scoring diamond. Let's go. Um, but yeah, so black grouse would be really cool to see albino, uh, of course leucistic, um, maybe some like um, piebald variations for them, not really sure what is possible. Um, if you guys know, oh no, whoa, how did I not get hurt from that? How did he not get hurt from it? Um, but yeah, if you guys know of, you know, some possible rare variations for any of these animals, oh no. These guys were landed without me even being there or calling. What in the world? I have never, ever seen that. Dude. 
these guys were at my decoys. I didn't think that was possible. I thought you had to call them in. Oh gosh. Oh gosh, okay. Let's keep picking some of these up. I have never seen that. These Those guys were at my decoys and I never called them in. I wasn't even over here. Um, ptarmigan. Ptarmigan are a cool one. I found some really cool pictures of leucistic ptarmigan, but again, those were the only ones I was able to find. I'm hoping we got to see the molting ptarmigan. I can't remember if it was the rock or the willow, but um, we did get to see some molting ptarmigan, and they looked incredible. They, they looked absolutely incredible. I'm hoping we do have leucistics for them, uh, but again, albino, melanistic. Um, yeah, hopefully we get all the, all the rare variations. I'm hoping we get some really cool rare variations with these new species that we're getting on Finland. And we've got some more geese over yonder. Let's see if we can maybe hit a couple. Oh, and there's another flock. Oh gosh, to my left. Oh, look at the time too. I didn't even realize I didn't reset the time. We're actually going into evening. I don't think it really matters as far as like the time for hunting geese, I feel like you can kind of do it whenever. I get that question quite a bit, what time to hunt geese? I don't think it matters all that much. Apparently it doesn't, I'm getting tons of geese and we're going into evening now. Gray Brown, there's a four, 7.4. That's cool. And another thing to think about too with the new map coming out is the brown bear rework, right? So we've, we're gonna have probably, there's another brown hybrid, another female. We're probably gonna have some more rare fur variations for the brown bears, hopefully the cinnamon, hopefully the red brown, the gold, the blonde, a whole bunch of different variations for the brown bear that could uh, potentially be rare if they do it the way that they did it with the black bears. There's another brown hybrid, another female. Those brown hybrid are so common now. But if they do it the way that they did it for the black bear, all of those color phases could potentially end up being rare for uh, the brown bear, which would be super interesting. So I'm super looking forward to the brown bears. Uh, obviously links on a new map is gonna be amazing so much to look forward to but yeah that's pretty much it you guys wanted to talk about the possibilities for new uh, variations for all these new species possibilities for what rare variations we might have uh, kind of some loose predictions as to what we might have let me know down in the comments if there's anything I missed anything you want to add to that conversation let me know down in the comments I appreciate you guys thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed the video don't forget to drop a like on it subscribe to the channel if you haven't already we're on the road to 30,000 subscribers I appreciate you guys have a good day, be safe, and I'll see you guys, as always, in the next one.